since you said there's been there's been a lot of misconceptions or a lot of the people don't really know much about Sabah yeah. and Peninsula, so I'd like to you know like end this one on a note of what do you think Peninsula Malaysia needs to know about Sabah? What are the biggest misconceptions, and you know what would you like people here to know? The first thing is uh, they missed out on the year. They said 56 years of Merdeka, mm -hmm. which I totally disagree. It is 50 years of the formation of Malaysia that we should celebrate and highlight the most. Why is that? Because there was no Malaysia 56 years ago. Mm -hmm. There was only Malaya, mm -hmm. Tanah Malaya. Malaysia only came about on 16 September 1963. So how could we celebrate something that is not uh, ours? How could we have any sense of belonging in Malaysia when this simple historical fact has been sidelined? Do you know that uh, not until 2008, nobody bothered about se September 16, 1963? Mm. In fact, uh, the Selangor state government was the first to declare it as a state holiday, or at least to recognize it as a, as a nation celebra national celebration. Uh, subsequently, Prime Minister uh, Najib followed, but the fact remains, they, they only followed because of the political pressure that Sabahan started to show after 2008. And is this something that you've pers you're personally taking up? How, how yes. are you going to campaign for? Well, I've said it in Parliament. Mm. I said in Parliament very clearly that we must put this right. Um, I've said it in many discussions and interviews and even in the press. Um, we cannot sideline or deny and just please Sabahans and Sarawakians by saying, yeah, we celebrate 50 years. You can't. You have to act on it. In fact, you have to make it into a national uh, a big do. You know, look at, look at what we see all around on, on the news, on the media, on the, on the newspaper, and even in the university websites. 56 years kemerdekaan. Do you know, if you check University Malaysia Sabah's website, it says 56 years uh, kemerdekaan. It just doesn't make sense. You, the, the renowned university coming from Sabah celebrates 56 years of kemerdekaan, which we never knew about. We were never part of at all. So what would you suggest that be done? So would 31st uh, August be disregarded as a... As a well, there's been suggestion? so many arguments about that. Um, just for historical facts also, Sabah was given independence by the British on the 31st of August, 1963. Mm -hmm. So we only formed Malaysia on 16 September, 1963. Now, if you want to consolidate this celebration of 31st August, 1960, uh, 31st August, whatever year, but 31st of August, it can also be 56 years. Right. Because Sabah is 50 years. Mm -hmm. So I would propose this. Make September 16. Um, 1963 in this case, uh, that actual national day. I have no problem. I, I, I know I'm going to get a lot of uh, attacks on that, but I believe in that because that is his a historical fact where we cannot deny. How much support have you actually received from your parliamentary colleagues on this matter or people that you've spoken to? I yes, mean they do. Uh, we just had our party retreat uh, on Sunday, mm -hmm. Monday and ended it on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and I spoke the same. And they all agree with me. This is within PKR? Yeah, within PKR. Within PKR. All right, but what about the other parties? I, I believe the AP is the same. And, and uh, my colleagues in PAS, in Sabah, also speak the same. Mm -hmm. um, I've yet to meet a Sabahan who does not speak the same. In fact, even our colleagues in Barisan National speak the same. In Sabah? Yes. Or BN colleagues in Sabah? I, I hope it's not only in Sabah that they speak <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, they, they, they do speak in Sabah. In fact, some of them even pressure me to speak this way and say, oh, you can help us by saying that. So, you know.